Okay, what we have here is the Epson FX86E dot matrix printer. For those of you that don't remember, this is a 9-pin dot matrix printer that I picked up for free. I was going through a scrap heap. Pick it up from work. Anyway, I haven't used it much because my day-to-day -day computing activities do not require that I have a printer. So, it sat in a corner doing a whole lot of nothing. But today, we're going to demonstrate it with an actual physical computer. And what better computer to demonstrate it with than one that was already sitting out? The IBM Intellistation E-Pro, which is not in focus because this camcorder has got a real bad time with that. I don't really know why. Very narrow field of view. Well, there we go. Now it's in focus. So we'll go ahead and first we'll fire up the printer. So it's on. Then we'll fire up the computer. And hopefully we'll be able to see, you'll be able to see most of the screen here. I just triggered the printer. So at least it knows it exists. We'll let it compute its power on self-test, complete its power on self-test. The Adaptax SCSI card will ring in. Press Control A for SCSI Select Utility. Now it's too bad I don't have the narrow SCSI board installed because I could actually use my Apple. I have an Apple scanner that I picked up also from work. Not from the same scrap pile, but from a scrap pile nonetheless. Okay, well, it just locked up. That is a great sign. There it goes. Hopefully, this is not going to want the operating system disk. I do think I have the files on the hard drive. I don't think I deleted them. If I don't, then that's going to be an abrupt stop to this video because I don't know where my Windows 98 disk is right now. And I really do not envy recreating installation media tonight, or really much of anything having to do with that. Okay, so we'll log in. And it apparently won't see the printer. I'll leave it to Windows 98 to do that. So go into Properties, Device Manager, you have an ECP printer port. No printers. So, I don't remember how to do this. Printers, there we go. Add a printer. This wizard will help you install your printer quickly and easily, it says. Oh, really? Well, we'll just see about that. Somehow or another, I don't think so. We have a local printer. It is... it's an Epson. It's an Epson FX. Now, Windows 98 should have a driver for this. Oh, look at that. 86E. Nice. It's hooked up to the printer port. Printer name is... sure. Would you like to print a test page? You know what we're going to do? We are going to print a test page. I find that hilarious that it actually worked out of the box. Well, kind of. I don't know if it will actually print a test page. Take it offline here for a minute. So, here... Except the paper. Probably not completely straight, but it's close enough that I really don't care. We'll go ahead, we'll put it back online because otherwise it'll complain about that. Do I want to print a test page? Yes. It's installing stuff from the driver, the CD. 
and the computer locks up and then what? There we go. There we go. So now we have our printer test page. Pull that out. It's just got the usual usual bits of information. A test page is now being sent to the printer. Let's go ahead back to the computer here. Test page is now being sent to the printer. Depending upon the speed of your printer, it may take a minute or two before the page is printed. I wish this camcorder would focus automatically on this, but it doesn't. The test page briefly demonstrates the printer's ability to print graphics and text, as well as providing technical information about the printer driver. Did the test page print correctly? Well, let's have a look. I think so. Looks like we got a readable test page out of the deal which is not in focus. So let's put it in focus. Looks a little iffy there, but that's probably because the uh, the ribbon's not in the best shape. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say yes to that. So I found this. Microsoft Windows 98 Second Edition Read Me for Pre-Installation and Setup. So, do you want to know what we're going to print? It's going to be this. Because, well, I said so. So, go to file, go to print. You only got one printer, so it's going to print that off. Oops. <laughs> See if we can get that to come through. Let's go ahead and print off this FR Unlog. Go to Page Setup. Should be Manual Feed. Portrait Landscape. Cool. Sounds good to me. Go to printer, properties on the printer, manual feed, graphics, device options, we'll put it into draft mode. Okay, okay, and we'll go ahead and push the print button. Please insert paper. I did that. There we go. There is our printout. And that is pretty much going to do it for the video. Got to see some uh, sample printouts on this. And we also got to see what happens when you jam the printer. So, thank you for watching. If you happen to have any comments, do feel free to leave them down below. And this is CP666 signing off. And I hope to see you next time. Till then.